Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily if you are new and today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple Christmas DIYs as well as sharing with you how I'm decorating my entryway for Christmas time. I hope that you'll be inspired and motivated to get all your Christmas decor out. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I was going to do was make a really large farmhouse sign for Christmas. This is two feet by four feet wide. It's quite massive. I got my primer paint out and I decided to prime my board. This board actually came from Lowe's and it was a scrap piece that I got completely for free. So definitely check the scrap area by the wood area and see what they can give you. That's what I did and you can use it for various different projects. And you guys know I love making me some projects. The only thing I ran into, which was a first for me, was there was this blue ink that was at the bottom of the board and it just bled out even more onto the white paint so I wiped the white paint off let that dry a bit and then I sanded it down until the blue was gone definitely had to sand it all the way off so once I did that then I just primered it and then I went over with it with just regular white paint two coats The next step is to stain our trim pieces for our sign. These are one by two pine boards that you can get from Lowe's. They're usually um, eight foot long and they're under two bucks, really inexpensive. I cut mine down and then I sand them so they're nice and smooth and there's no splinters on them. And then I take some gloves and a rag and I wipe on my dark walnut stain by Minwax. You can use whatever color stain or you can even paint these if you wanted to. And then I will let them dry before I attach them to my sign. Here, I just make sure that it's level with each side. I usually like the, the length of my sign to be the longer trim pieces. I'm using my DeWalt nailer here and just nailing them on. If you don't have a nail gun, don't fret. You can use a really thin finish nails and a, ha and a hammer and hammer them in. That's how I used to make my signs before I got the nailer for Mother's Day a few years ago. The next step for this sign is to add our letters. I'm using a stencil for part of this and just stenciling them on. This came from Joann's, but you can print these out. It's completely up to you. I did a mixture of both, and you'll see here in a minute, um, but I like the combination of the different fonts that they have. So now I'm just free handing a few different trees onto the sign. I got the inspiration for the sign from the Walmart pillow that you'll see right there. They had so many cute pillows this year and I thought this would make a really adorable sign. I like to use stencils and then also print out words and freehand. You can do all three or one or the other or none. So here I'm just cutting out the words that I printed out. I went into my word on my computer. I printed out the word Christmas trees. I highlight it, then I pick the font that I want. Then I go to the insert tab, click the A that says word art, and then I pick the third one. Then I click the little A again and hit the transform all the way at the bottom. And then I can pull and drag that however large or small that I want it. And I do that for each word in there. And then you can just print it like normal. Do what works for you. I find that that's the best tool in my, you know, I just have a regular PC, so that's the best tool for me to print out my words the way I want them to look. And then I'll lay them out. I will go ahead and take my pencil and just um, scratch the back of the paper, adding the, um, the graphite to it. And then you're going to line that up exactly where you want it and then just trace your word. And that graphite that's on the back will transfer wherever you've traced. And it, sometimes it's usually pretty light, so you can just highlight, re-highlight it before you want to paint it. You can use um, graphite paper or carbon paper for that as well. I've gotten carbon paper from uh, Office Depot. I'll leave it linked down below if you need some. But this is a really easy and cheap way to make signs without having a special equipment for it. So now I'm taking some black paint. This is actually Waverly paint that I've gotten from Walmart, but you can use regular acrylic paint for this. And I'm just filling in all the letters that I have traced on.
For the larger letters, I will use a thicker paintbrush, and then for the smaller ones, I will use a tapered brush because I find that it really works and it makes the lines uh, flow a little bit better. I really enjoy painting. It's really peaceful, um, so hopefully you'll find it relaxing too. After I took a break, I came back and then started filling in the trees. I'm just using a dark green color that I had on hand. It's acrylic paint and I am just going over the black outline that I did with the paint. Um, and don't worry, I will actually cover up some of the black smudges that I have on there. I ended up going a little bit too far out for some of it. I just did this as a guideline for me. Um, you can totally freehand it, do whatever you want. I actually liked putting the green in and then going back once that was almost dry and adding in black. It just gave it a richer color and added more depth to the trees. And the last step to finish my sign is to add hooks on the back, that way I can hang it on the wall. For this size sign, I used two of these hooks. You can find them anywhere. I'll have some linked down below if you want them. But I just measured and made sure that they were uh, even. The next DIY, we're going to be making these trees. I shared these last year and I think it's a wonderful DIY. It's super inexpensive. Basically, I chopped down a couple pieces of uh, wood and I'm attaching a two by two onto the top that is around six feet tall and then I'm using one by two boards for like the length for the, for the tree branches basically. I'm attaching three of these on. I'm using some short screws for this. It's really easy to do. You can, if you don't want to do this DIY, just go out and buy yourself some trees, but they're kind of expensive. so. To keep the cost down and make it really easy on yourself, just go get a nine foot piece of garland from Walmart. It's $12.99, I'll have it linked down below. It's really easy to work with and it's wired. And so all I do is twist it around the base and then I attach it to the top with a screw. That way it stays there for me while I work on the rest of it. And then I basically just kind of wrap it around and then I use the floral ties. Those ones were there from last year. And then you can also just use the, um, the pieces of garland that are already on there and tie it to the branches. It's really easy. It probably looks complicated, but basically you're just going to attach it and then fluff it like you would a normal tree. And then pretty much you're done. It just takes a little bit to kind of manipulate it a little bit and tweak it the way you want it to look. But I set these up last year and I love them. The only thing I did was I did not have my boxes I made last year. They wouldn't fit in our moving truck when we moved. So I don't have any boxes yet for them. So I'll probably either make them or use some baskets. But I got to clean up this mess and then actually put away all of the fall decor so that we can now decorate the entryway now that we've made our two DIYs for the space. Riding through the winter night Thinking of my own If you have seasonal pillows, the best way to store them is to get these vacuum seal bags because it will compress it and then it makes it so easy to add with the rest of your decor and I just love them. I need to get more of these. I got mine from Costco, but I think a lot of places carry them. The bells and bells, but I'll be home for Hopefully I'm not alone in the fact that I can't get my decor bin to close. I added a few new things this year and you, it would not close, so I had to get rid of a few things, which is actually a good thing at the same time, you know? Out with the old, in with the new. Now I'm just dusting off my pew bench. I did make this, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I will have that video linked down below. It's really fun DIY and it will just change the space completely. I vacuumed to get rid of a couple cobwebs because I don't want any spiders joining us for this Christmas decor. No, no, they can stay away. And the hooks that I added on the back of my sign, I made so that they would fit um, the wall uh, hooks that were already in the wall, so I didn't do any new hooks in there. No more nail holes. <laughs> I'm trying to do a little better at that. 
but I hope that you guys are being inspired by this video. I hope that you guys can make a sign. It's a lot of fun and really inexpensive, especially if you can get the wood for free. Now I'm adding in those trees that we made. Again, really inexpensive. Um, make your budget stretch. This blanket I got from Home Goods. It is $16.99, and I love how soft and cozy it is. It is freezing outside, so all the more blankets and faux fur. Yes, please. I want it all. So I'm just going to add that to the bench and it's a great way to kind of layer on some pieces and make it kind of come together too. Blankets are a great way to decorate and really inexpensive. Again, this pillow is from Walmart. I got it for I think under $13. I added one to this side with the blanket and then one to the other side. And then Walmart's for the win this year. They have amazing Christmas decor. I got this pillow as well from there, and I just love how soft and cozy it is. Again, sorry, I say that a lot, but I thought this sign could use a little bit added addition, so I'm adding this garland that I made in a previous Dollar Tree DIY. The fabric that is on the front is actually from Walmart, so um, you can pick that up there. I just added it. I thought it would just add a little pizzazz to the sign because it was a little bit, the sign needed to be a little bit bigger, but since I got it for free, we're working with it. Then I added this reindeer from Walmart as well. I think it's adorable. I think he was seven bucks, so I almost need to get a couple more. The boys love playing with him. He's made it everywhere so far. I do think I need to add something between the tree and the sign. We see the sign is a little bit skinnier than I would have liked it to be, but again, it was free. I don't have my tree boxes anymore, but I did want to show you guys that if you do have baskets, you can always put your trees in baskets. I did that last year for shorter ones, and you can use a tomato cage for it. It's really easy to do, so just an idea. I'll have to get some bigger ones, but I hope that I have given you lots of Christmas inspiration today. If I have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe that we don't miss out on any more Christmas DIYs and decorating videos. I share them every Monday and Thursday. Day. and if you happen to miss the last few I will leave them linked down in the description box below. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you all in the next one.